Hello, and welcome back to another review video from me, John, the Fat Hipster. And today, we're going to do something special because this is a local restaurant. Um, it used to just be here in Chicago, though recently they got kind of like bought out, incorporated, and spread throughout the United States, but still relatively small, and the majority of the locations are in Chicago. And that is this Portillo's Hot Dogs. Notice that it says Portillo's Hot Dogs, not Portillo's Italian Beef. Uh, that's because they do sell Italian Beef, but that's not what they're the best for. Um, clearly, Hot Dogs is what they're there for. But today I'm not going to do a hot dog. Today I'm going to do something that uh, a lot of fast food places have been trying to do, and that's make the next best chicken sandwich. And Portillo's is doing their version of their of a new chicken sandwich. Um, this is not available at every Portillo's restaurant, so make sure that you look at the menu or call ahead before you go looking for this thing. Um, it's only available in certain Illinois and Indiana locations, and then not even all the Illinois and Indiana locations. They have another website to tell you which ones it's at. Luckily, I had one that had it available that was in my delivery radius. So here we go. We're going to try it out. This is the Portillo's Spicy Chicken Sandwich. It has a spicy jardinera sauce. I got, even got a little side of the spicy jardinera sauce so I can try it with some fries. But let's go ahead and look at the sandwich. Um, it is following in the footsteps of everyone else doing the shiny brioche. This is the, uh, the chicken. And uh, the chicken itself doesn't look too special. Uh, kind of looks like something that was pre-made, frozen, and then fried up and put on a sandwich. I really think the uh, the unique thing that this has is the sauce. Jardinarian sauce is... I've, I've never seen it like this before, but Jardinarian relish is typically a thing you get on Italian beefs, sometimes uh, pizza or uh, Polish sausages sometimes have it on there. But it's a, a mix of vegetables that can range in spiciness from mild, medium, to hot, to even very hot. Um, usually jalapenos or other spicy peppers are added to it. Um, it is similar to like uh, the olive relish that they put on uh, sandwiches in New Orleans. Uh, same concept, like a chopped up vegetable relish put on a sandwich. This time it's spicy um, and... I've never had it on chicken, and it also has some kind of like mayonnaise sauce mixed into it. But I'm excited to see what it tastes like, so let's go ahead and try it. It also has lettuce and tomato on it, and I believe that's it. Lettuce, tomato, and the sauce. Here we go. If you look at the crossbite in the chicken, you can see a little orangey redness on the edge of the where the meat meets the breading. Uh, to me, that really means that the the patty itself has spices in it as well in the breading. It is a it's a nice bun. It's very soft. The uh, lettuce is uh, iceberg, I believe. And it's holding up fairly well for a, a hot sandwich that was delivered. And typically when I do these reviews that are delivered, I try a, 
open it up and get it on film as quickly as possible. Uh, I just don't want any of that uh, agedness to affect it on my on my end. Can't do anything about the time it takes for them to cook it and deliver here. But once it's here, I really like to do it as quickly as possible. So, it is like a spicy chicken, um, but it has a good amount of spice to it. I don't know if the sauce really reminds me of Jardinarian sauce, peppers. It just kind of tastes like a generic spicy sauce. It's still good though. I like it. I'm gonna I'm gonna try some of the sauce on some fries. Maybe uh maybe it's like the spice that's on the bread of the chicken is kind of interfering with my ability to detect. Jardinarian flavors. Here we go with the fry. Okay. Yeah. When you dip into the fries, you really taste the. You really taste the uh, pickled uh, vegetable parts of it a little bit more. It is still fairly light on that flavor. I think the the mayo in here is already spiced. And the ratio of mayo to real jardinarian peppers and stuff is it looks like it's pretty low. Uh, low on the jardinarian pepper side. It looks like it's mostly a spicy mayo. And then there are some chunks of uh, jardinier peppers in there. I think uh, they sh if, if they're looking to improve this, what I would do is I would change that ratio and make uh, the jardinier peppers increased and the, the amount of mayonnaise in there decreased. But that's just a personal preference for me. Uh, overall, this chicken sandwich isn't going to uh, blow away the, the top ones that are currently out there. But it's not bad. It's definitely not a low end. Uh, if you like chicken sandwiches, if you like spicy food, and you're at a Portillo's, this is definitely an option that I would recommend. I'm going to say, out of 10, it is about a... Excuse me, a 7.7 .7 out of 10. It's in that fairly good range. I enjoy it. Uh, I would recommend it to people who like spicy chicken sandwiches. It's definitely not one that you're going to regret. Uh, it was like $5 and change before tax, so this is kind of expensive. Portillo's is kind of more of an expensive, fast, casual place. Um, but everything there is priced around there, so it's not like this sandwich is more or less expensive than anything else you'll see. Uh, but it is something I would recommend to try if you're there and you want a spicy chicken sandwich. Uh, other than that, that's the end of the video. Hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, we'll have more videos like this and other products as well in the future. We'll see you there. Bye.